Welcome to a set of screencasts on differentiation of vector functions and in this set of screencasts what I really want to do is focus on some example problems with particular emphasis on problems from mechanics that is to say computing velocity, speed, acceleration and being able to understand those vectors and how to plot them. So the first examples are going to be on circular motion and the, the first one is, is a typical kind of question you'd be asked. Uh, a particle moves according to the following parameterization and you'll recognize that as a circle, a circle of radius 1 and here I've plotted it. It's shown large here so I'll be able to, to sketch on it and draw on it easily but that's uh, a circle of radius 1 and this is the particle and it's moving around this, this path and the question is simply to find the velocity vector, the speed, and the acceleration vector. And what uh, I particularly want to emphasize here is that you also asked to plot some of these vectors uh, on this diagram. I want to spend time here on simple algebraic manipulation so I've, um, I've done the calculations which you can again easily verify. So this is the velocity vector that is to say the derivative of the position and there it is. The speed which is the magnitude of velocity this is one here and the acceleration um, which is the derivative of speed and here it is. Alright so let's discuss this a little bit in particular with regard to plotting some of these vectors. Let me first plot the position. So here's the position vector and I'm going to draw it here corresponding to that point. So this is the position vector um, r at a particular time corresponding to that particle sitting there. And just to indicate, so what's happening is the, the motion is in this direction and um, the derivative of this motion will be a vector, well you can see it's going to be pointing in this in this direction here, but, uh, but we want to actually show that this is what this gives. I said that very well. So let me just first put, put, put on the uh, position so that I have that. This is the position at some time, I won't label of t, but that's the position at some particular time. And now I want to put on the velocity vector of that time. So we know that it's going to be, we know that this velocity vector from, from my general statements, it's the derivative of, of the parameterization. It will necessarily be tangent to the, to the curve. So this, this velocity vector will necessarily point, it will be tangent to the curve either this way or that way. Of course we know it's going to point this way. Uh, it's going to have unit length, length one, which is the same as the radius of the circle. So that's about, okay, so this will be my velocity vector. And you'll see that its length, the length of that vector, is meant to be the same as the length of that vector, and that's approximately true. It's, it's rather obvious that it's going to point this way. I just want to, to emphasize that's consistent with the algebra. And um, let's do it this way. This, at this particular time, this position vector is in this quadrant. And that is to say the x component of the position is positive and the y component of the position is positive. Okay? So let's just do this. So the x component of the position being positive means cosine t is positive, which means the y component of the velocity is positive. Okay, so what we know is that the y component of the velocity is, is positive. Okay? And that comes about from cosine being positive through here. And then we also know that um, the y component of position is positive in this quadrant, which is to say sine t is positive, which means minus sine t is negative. That is to say the x component of velocity is negative. So um, that means the x component of velocity is negative. We know that the, the components must be positive and negative uh, for this velocity vector. And so this all makes sense. Uh, oh, we got one other thing I want to emphasize here, and let me just do it here, is that um, you can see rather quickly that it will be the case here that this velocity vector is perpendicular to the position vector. We can see that from this plot, but uh, let's just compute it. The velocity dot into the position, the velocity is minus sine t, cosine t. The position is cosine t sine t. You do that dot product and you get minus sine t cosine t plus cosine t sine t, which in fact is zero. That is to say v is perpendicular to r. Again, that's clear here. So let me just draw a few more uh, velocity vectors. Uh, uh, yeah, let's draw, let's, draw the let's draw the position vector and then the velocity vector. So let's draw a position vector here, say, and uh, here, say. So those are position vectors at different uh, different times. And now we'll draw the corresponding uh, velocity vectors. Again, they must have the same length. They must be perpendicular to that, and the, the direction is clear. 
and uh, there they are. Okay, so those are my vectors V. And again, I think you should verify if it's not obvious to you that the components, that is to say the x component and the y component of the velocity, in this case, they're both negative. Negative x component, negative uh, y component of this velocity vector. Here, neg uh, positive x comp this velocity vector has a positive x component and a negative y component. And you should verify that and make sure you understand all that. And then the final thing uh, has to do with the acceleration. Let me try and fit it on here. The, um, uh, what we want to say here is that uh, in this case, oh, I can just do it here. In this case, the acceleration vector is simply minus the position vector. That won't always be true, but it is true in this case. So that makes it really easy to draw the, uh, the acceleration vectors on here. They're simply minus the um, position vectors. So I will draw those in orange and bold, and I'll just draw them right on top. So the acceleration vector, if you can see it sitting right on top of there, is pointing inwards. Here it's pointing inwards. Here it's pointing inwards. It's exactly minus the position. And uh, let me turn that off and label just one of these. And that's the acceleration. A simple, straightforward problem uh, on uh, circular motion and computing and plotting these various quantities. So I'll pause here and I'll go on to some slightly more complicated problems.